How are you doing, Roma? Oh, hello, hello. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, thank, thank you very much, I'm fine. Great stuff. Um, thank you for joining us today uh, for Short Focus Film Festival 2021. Um, obviously, congratulations for your film being selected for our festival. Um, personally, um, you know, for me, it's, a, it's a, an excellent um, inclusion in our, in our program. Um, yeah, Dalib, it really reminded me of um, just the, the, the reason why I enjoy short film in the first place. You know, it takes a really simple idea. Um, it's an entirely wordless film, um, but delivers uh, an extremely powerful message. Um, for those who haven't seen the film, um, or perhaps are about to watch the film, um, how would you describe the film? Um, what, what is it about? You mean, you mean Delive, right? Yes, Delive. Yeah. Um, I would like to say, first of all, uh, I'm very sorry for my not perfect English. <laughs> That's okay. And I'm, I'm very happy for your words. It's very important for me. Um, as you know, um, the best description of my movie is uh, the description that you wrote exactly. I mean, the, you did a whole job uh, for me. Uh, <laughs> Actually, really, uh, uh, the, the, um, I should say the, uh, the, the accolade there should go to uh, one of our con contributors to the festival. Her name's Sally Roberts, who, um, who helped to co-write the program and she, and she wrote those uh, wonderful words uh, about your film in particular. So um, many thanks to Sally Roberts as well. Thank, thanks very much, yeah. So I thought about my movie that um, it is uh, very um, problems uh, about teenagers, about uh, my age person. Um, you know, uh, TikTok, Instagram, all this social media life. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's very um, uh, effects on our life, you know. So I thought about it and uh, some ideas came inside. That's how it happened. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So um, I suppose a lot of it, um, obviously based around your own experience and feelings about social media, digital media, that kind of thing, yeah? Uh, yeah, but mm, so can you, can you uh, do, re do, repeat your question? Do you think that, um, th did the idea for the film come from your own um, experience with social media and your own feelings about social media? Yeah, that's right. I, uh, I installed the TikTok application, for example, and then deleted a couple of times because I hate it and I, and I love it and I hate it. Uh, <laughs> it's very interesting to explore, but it's, uh, it's eating my time. I, I, can, uh, I can lose my life uh, sitting in front of my phone, you know? Uh, that's a big problem for me. And uh, I look uh, on teenagers, on other people, uh, they, they have all their life in front of yeah. their phone. Uh, that's frightened me, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, I think that is a, a very common fear uh, nowadays with, with the amount yeah. of, um, you know, modern technology that we have and, and different, you know, forms of, um, you know, social connections. Um, there is an interesting relationship between the film's form, the way that it's shot, and the content of the film. So what I mean is the film is essentially a, a comment on modern culture and our obsession with social media and digital media, but it's actually shot on Kodak film and has an almost yeah. vintage quality to it. Was that something that you wanted to explore specifically? Yeah, that, um, that, was, um, that was the idea. Um, it is a very strange feeling I heard from other people who watch uh, my movie. Uh, they saw very modern things like iPhone, yeah? But uh, the atmosphere is like old movies. Uh, the noise that I love, you know, you know that noise on the film. Yes. It is uh, 16 millimeter, not 35. It has very strong noise, yes. uh, strong grain. Uh, and, and that uh, creates some unique feeling that we look um, and see some very um, modern contemporary things, but um, in some retro, I don't know, atmosphere. Uh, and something, something happens when you see it. Uh, I thought about myself and I heard about uh, that feelings from other people. 
Uh, I think that um, it was one of the good ideas that we have made. Uh, there is there is one moment. Um, there is one shot uh, that was made from the iPhone, uh, vertical vertical uh, video, yeah, and uh, we suddenly we feel difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think was, that yeah. that is um, yeah. I mean, it's very um, yeah, like. The, the kind of contradiction there, you know, between the kind of the noise and the grain of something very physical in the film, um, mm -hmm. you know, is juxtaposed really nicely with this idea of, you know, being able to capture something almost, you know, infinitely in, in, in a sort of digital context. Um, moving on from that, the, the, the film operates, I think, quite comfortably within the horror genre. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have your own roots in this genre, and do you think it's an area that you'll continue to work in? Um, my second uh, very short movie uh, will be the, the same. Will have the same feeling, um, maybe same atmosphere and uh, very similar form, um, and uh, you can call it horror too. I think, but I, I, I love horrors very much, and I love very short horrors. Uh, there is there is not many f movies that can impress me uh, right now because I saw it too much. Uh, but I love horrors. I think it, it can be very clever uh, genre, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, as I as I love it, yeah, I I think um, I will I will do some more things. But I think about horrors not um, as some. Uh, something that uh, scares you only with monsters, beasts, you know. Um, for me, it's like more um, uh, some some horror insight, you know, some mind horror, for example, if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So that's that's horror for me. That's horror for me. Not the beasts, not the scary uh, clowns. Mm. Mm. But I love the scary clowns. But <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not my 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 thing. It's. Um, I thought about, I can tell you, I thought about um, Bla Black Mirror. Yeah. Uh, some, some, uh, some parts of Black Mirror is like horror. Yeah. Very scared. But there is no um, cl clowns or monsters. Yeah, it's kind monsters. of uh, like an internal horror or the horror of the everyday, the things that we are familiar with, not so much the kind of you know, yeah. supernatural um, things that you know, can be scary but have maybe been explored um, a lot more, you know, um, but yeah, sometimes, you know, the horror can just come from within and from experience and the things that we already understand, but just looking at them in an alternative way. Um, so yeah, I think, that's I think that's a, a very, um, you know, interesting way to, to look at it. Um, much of your previous work has, uh, been for music videos. Um, I take it is, is Delive your first, um, narrative short then? Is that is that the first time you've worked in in that sort of context? Yeah, it was a very long way uh, to do my first narrative uh, short. Um, but right now I I'm in the middle of um, creating. Uh, I, I have done editing and uh, there is coming my next uh, short, very short movie. I will send it uh, to your festival. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, th th they are going to be um, the same, like brothers, I think. Uh, 16 millimeters, yeah. same, similar atmosphere. Yeah. It, it will be my second movie. Well, that, then that, we'll see. That, that sort of connects quite nicely to my, to my next question, really. I mean, your films do appear to, to deal with um, fairly dark um, and often serious social themes. Um, do you see your own work as having a particular style or tendency or, or purpose even? Uh, my work as a commercial, uh, it is, let me think, <laughs> uh, d during my life, it is only commercial work, so it can be dark as I want it to be, but uh, my feeling of, of my life it's not, it's not dark. I'm a very happy person. I can say it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's everything. It's everything uh, really okay in my life. Yeah. But um, 
I think about surrealism or maybe uh, let, let me think uh, magical realism do you know that uh, in there is in paint and uh, there is a painter or movies for example I like David Lynch very much as my favorite yeah. director right and I have I have s same feeling about the whole world I think yeah. sometimes it's dark yeah because there is many dark um, things inside that we uh, don't see you know yeah. so that's why i think uh, my movies can be dark and i think that they would be dark yeah. in the future yeah <laughs> but but as a person as a person i i'm not a dark person you know no i don't i don't think um, necessarily it, it would say um much about um you and maybe things you're preoccupied with um but i do feel like your films are perhaps trying to deal with something and maybe to try and get um, to the truth of something, you know, within within those themes, I feel like there is, you know, some kind of continuity between, uh, you know, at least some of the work that I've seen, where okay, the you know the the kind of themes that you're tackling are maybe sort of darker themes or kind of you know domestic or social themes, but maybe mm -hmm. trying to arrive at a truth, maybe trying to find something within that, you know, that's more than just you know darkness. Um, and I suppose, yeah, I hope like, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I think that there is, you know, um, a lot that you can get from from those those works. Um, but, I, but, but I can say that comedy, for example, I think that it's not my my movies. You know, I like to watch some comedies, but to create, uh, I, I would I don't think that I would like to create uh, comedy. So in terms, so so we should expect um, a new film, a short film from you um, soon, yeah. I suppose. Um, do, do you know when that might be finished? I hope or? very soon. Yeah. Have you started work on I it? I hope already? that. Sorry. Have you started work on it already? How how far into this uh, new film are you? Uh, it is already edited. Right now, I'm doing some CG, um, cleaning some little things. Uh, then it's going to be color correction and um, uh, we're writing uh, music. So I think it's, I think October. Uh, it will okay. be done in October, yeah. 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 Well, please. I hope um, so. I hope so. I hope so too. Um, very much looking forward to it. Please keep in touch uh, and you know send us your film when it is finished. Um, Roma, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Um, but thank you so much for for joining me. It was um, a real pleasure meeting you. Um, and thank you again for uh, such a wonderful short film. Um, and we look forward to screening it uh, next week. So, all the best to you, Roma. You take care, and we'll speak again soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for your festival. And sorry for my English. <laughs> no, no, you're, no, absolutely fine. It's great. Thank you so much. No, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Take thanks, care, Roma. Thanks. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.